Wikipedia is the biggest source of knowledge and facts. From history to facts, you will find everything in this vast encyclopedia. Now, imagine turning a boring Wikipedia page into a viral-worthy video in minutes. Sounds like magic, right? Well, it's not. Now with Wondershare Filmora, you can transform dry facts into captivating stories that grab attention and keep viewers hooked. So, watch the video till the end and subscribe to our channel. First of all, select a niche or page from Wikipedia. For example, I want to create war history-based videos. You will get all the war-related articles on Wikipedia. Just select one of them. I am selecting World War II. After selecting the idea or topic, we need to turn it into a video script. To do that, I will use ChatGPT. I am simply copying the article link and then logging into my ChatGPT account. After coming to the prompt box, simply type, write an engaging short video script from this, and then paste the article URL. Here I mention short video only for tutorial purposes. If you want to create a long video, you can mention the length of the video. OK, after the URL, I am typing. Write the script in a column and hit the Enter button. You can see that ChatGPT starts analyzing the article. Once done, it will start writing the script. And here it is, our script is ready. ChatGPT did a great job. On the left column, it provides the scene or visual suggestions. And on the right column, it provides the narration text. OK, our script is ready. Now it's time to generate the video. To generate the video, I will use Filmora AI Video Editor. Because here, we can do everything on one platform, from generating images, turning them into video, generating BGM, and editing with AI. Everything is possible. If you don't have Filmora on your system, just download and install it on your device. I will put the link in the description. This is the Wondershare Filmora interface. Here you will find some AI tools and features. You can look at them. I will use this AI text to video tool to create our video. Once you select the tool, a pop-up will appear. Here in this box, we have to enter the video script. I will copy the script written by ChatGPT and then paste it into the Filmora text box. Copy all the script blocks and paste them one by one. After entering the script, select the voice language. I am selecting English. Next, we have to select the voice actor. Here you will find all the voice actors. If you want to clone and use your own voice, you can do it from here. This time, I will select a voice actor from the library. In the end, you have to set the video ratio. As I am creating a short video, I am selecting 916. Once everything is set, hit the text to video button from here. It will take some time to generate the video. Let's fast forward this part. And here it is, the video is ready. Filmora generates a voiceover using the selected voice actor and adds stock images and videos for the video. However, after reviewing the video, I am honestly saying it needs to be improved. I will remove all the stock images and videos from the video timeline. After removing the stock media, we have to generate new media using AI. As we will create videos using AI, we need to generate images and videos. So, I will generate image generation prompts using ChatGPT. To do that, I am typing again, now generate image prompt for every scene so that I can generate consistent character images. And here it is, our image generation prompts are ready. Now let's move forward to the next step. To generate the images, come to the stock media tab from here. You will find several copyright free media options here. Today we have to use this AI image generator tool. Okay, now we have to enter the text prompts here in this box. I am entering the very first prompt from ChatGPT. After entering the prompt, set the visual style from here. You will find a bunch of options like portrait, realistic, ACG, pixel, CGI, and many more. Just select the style you want to use. After that, go to the settings options. Here you can set the aspect ratio. Select it as per your need. Once everything is set, hit the generate button to generate the images. It will take some time to generate the images. So let's fast forward this part. And here it is, our images are ready. Filmora generates four images for us, and you can see the quality of the images. It's awesome. Now you can download images from here and store them in downloads. You will find all the downloaded images in the download tab here. To add the image directly on the timeline, simply drag and drop the image. Now using the same method, create images for all the scenes and prompts. After generating the images, download them to save in the download tab. All right, our images are ready. Now it's time to turn them into videos using the image to video generator. 
you can do it using the image to video generator. Here, you will find various trendy templates to generate videos. And you can generate custom video using the custom mode. After coming to the custom image to video generator, you have to upload the image here, enter the prompt in this box, and then set all other settings to generate the video. However, our images are already in the timeline and not saved on our device. So, I will use the easiest way to generate the video. Select the first image and then click on the image to video icon from here. Once you click on this image to video icon, you will be taken to this interface. Here you will find a new option called Timeline, apart from single image and stitch mode. Normally, it selects your chosen image. However, if you want to change the image, you can do so from here. Once you select the image, set the aspect ratio, and then hit the submit button. Now you have to enter the text prompt here in this box. I am entering the image generation prompt. Next, set the model. I will go with the advanced model, it will generate videos in 720p, and the duration will be 5 seconds. Once everything is set, hit the generate button. After waiting some time, we got this result. And I think this is a perfect scene for our video. Filmora's image to video tool did a great job. So, now using this method, generate videos with all the images you have created for your video. Once done, go to my file from here, and you will find all the videos you have generated. Now we have to add them to the timeline from the My File tab. Insert the video clips in ascending order. Alright, our visuals are ready. Okay, now we have to adjust the video footage with the voiceover. You can delete the unnecessary part of the video clip, or adjust the speed from here. Take proper time to adjust the video clip and match it with the audio. Once you are done, you can add transitions between video clips to get a smooth video. Alright, we are almost done. Just one thing is missing. The BGM. You will find a vast number of music clips here in the audio tab. But I suggest you use the smart BGM generator. It will analyze the video and then generate a perfect music clip for the video. So now you don't have to worry about the copyright issue. And here it is, our BGM is ready. Now adjust the volume to make it perfect. Once everything is set, hit the export button. It will take some time to export the video. Let's fast forward this part. And here it is, our video is ready. Let's have a look. The aftermath of World War I tensions simmered across Europe and Asia, setting the stage for another global conflict. On September 1, 1939, Germany invaded Poland prompting Britain and France to declare war World War II had begun. In a blitzkrieg, or lightning war, Germany swiftly conquered much of Western Europe. The Battle of Britain saw the UK withstand relentless aerial bombardments, showcasing resilience against the Axis powers. December 7, 1941 Japan's surprise attack on Pearl Harbor led the United States to enter the war. On the Eastern Front, the Soviet Union endured immense hardships, turning the tide at battles like Stalingrad. June 6, 1944 D-Day, Allied forces launched a massive invasion on Normandy, marking the beginning of the end for Nazi Germany. As Allied troops advanced, they uncovered the horrors of the Holocaust, liberating concentration camps across Europe. In August 1945, the U.S. dropped atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So, now you can create these kinds of amazing videos using only Wondershare Filmora Video Editor. So, if you want to boost your productivity and use just one platform to generate content, don't forget to try the Wondershare Filmora Video Editor. Alright friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear about your experience creating videos with AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating!